Hi everyone, my name is Philip, and this is another video for Philip's take on DDSCAD. DDSCAD is more than just an MEP modeling tool. In this video, I will perform a clash detection analysis, document it, and solve the issue by using a clash prevention. But before viewing the video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so that you can be notified of the new videos. Check it out. To perform the clash detection analysis, we go to Tools, Analyze Model, and Clash Detection. Here we find some preset configurations for electrical, mechanical, MEP, provision for void, and plumbing. However, in DDSCAD, we can make a clash detection analysis for all building model disciplines, including architecture and structure. To do so, we can create a new configuration. And this is possible since the clash detection engine in DDSCAD makes use of IFC's native foundation classes. The complete tree structure allows you to make a detailed selection of object types based on IFC on which DDSCAD can verify your model on clashes. For instance, we could select the building category and the subcategories architect and structural with all elements would be selected. But for this demonstration, I would like to make a clash detection of only duct segments against pipe segments. And to run the clash detection, I just have to click on the run button. The clash detection engine makes use of a advanced background processing technology. This means you can continue working on your model while DDSCAD is running the clash detection in the background. Once the clash detection is finished, the list will appear on your screen in the issues list. We see that DDSCAD has found several clashes. I'm going to the clash between mechanical and plumbing and clicking here, I will select this pipe segment against duct segment. On the right, we see a supply air of 600, 300 millimeters clashing with this cooling pipe of 15 millimeters. I will right mouse click and I can clip away surrounding geometry to clearly see the clash on the screen. We also see that the clash elements are highlighted in blue. What if I would like to communicate this clash with another project member? This is quite simple. I can right mouse click these components and directly create a BCF issue. We see on the BIM collaboration tab that a, a new issue has been created with the title of Clash Pipe Segment Duct Segment and a snapshot has been taken of these elements on the screen, including the elements here, the pipe segment and the duct. But now I would like to solve the issue in DDSCAD. To do so, I will select the floor plan and I can select the elements here, they are highlighted, and I can also right mouse click and zoom collision. And we see that we have another pipe um, clashing with this same duct segment. To solve the issue, I will edit the pipe segment. To do so, I will come to split this uh, to split a pipe function and click here on this pipe and the same to this pipe above. This is the pipe here highlighted and the other one below also highlighted. Now we'll remove this pipe segment that I have split it. And I will draw the pipe segment again. So to the end of that, of that pipe, if I move my cursor towards this duct, 
DDS card indicates that this duct is in the same height of the pipe, so it indicates to me to make a climb over or climb under to avoid the clash. And I can connect to the end of the pipe system. The same thing I would do to the pipe below. Now let's see in 3D the result. Pretty good, isn't it? Okay, now I would like to communicate to this project member that I have solved the issue. So I can create a new snapshot, right mouse click and capture view. And I will give a comment that the issue has been solved. Did you like it? Do you want to know more about DDS CAD? Put your comment below and we get back to you. Cheers!